It's a kid's game, but it's doing so much more than just putting smiles on faces. This weekend, Sarah Bartos will be trying to break a world record, and you are invited to help her. But the great thing is that it's for a really great cause. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is uh, for a group that you founded called I Back Jack, and we'll talk a little bit about that okay. in just a second. But on Saturday, you're inviting everyone out there to come play Bananagrams. We are. <laughs> we are hosting the world's largest game of Bananagrams at Arrowhead High School on Saturday, this Saturday, November 12th. And we are, the goal is to set a world record, mm -hmm. but also fund new innovative research endeavors for kids battling cancer so they can keep winning at the game of life. And I asked you when you first came in what Bananagrams was, because I don't know, but you, parents out there, you said, you yeah. know, this is kind of like, it's sort you, of scra scrabble -ish. You either love it or you have never heard of it. It's the best game you've never heard These of. These are all little letters. Little letters. You're spelling out words. The good news, as I told you, you don't need to know how to spell uh, chrysanthemum. Okay. This is a fast, <laughs> fun wordplay game. It's the animal game that will drive you bananas. It's a kitchen table game that appeals to everybody from 5 to 95. How fun. So Saturday you're invited to come out and try Bananagrams if you haven't done so already. But again, it's for a great cause. I Back Jack is a group you started several years ago. Tell us about that. My husband and I founded the I Back Jack Foundation in 2005 following the unthinkable diagnosis of our then only four-year-old son Jack with neuroblastoma. And this is Jack. We're taking a picture. Oh, here he An is on the Wheaties box. There right? he is on the Wheaties box with his friend Aaron Rodgers. Um, Jack was diagnosed with neuroblastoma in 2005, a very aggressive and difficult to treat cancer, and we quickly realized that there was a need to fund new research and hopefully less toxic treatments that will not only help kids survive, but thrive in the face of a cancer diagnosis. And Jack is now 10, and you have made some serious progress, uh, you and the Mac Foundation working very closely. We are so proud to be partnering with the Mac Fund. The IBEC Jack Foundation itself has raised a quarter of a million dollars just in the last three years and we have three new clinical trials that we've helped to partially fund at Memorial Sloan Kettering Hospital in New York mm -hmm. um, where we take Jack. It's the hospital that treats more kids with neuroblastoma. But we've been very fortunate to have great care here at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin yeah. and have always been big fans of the MAC Fund. We have a very similar goal and a very similar mission. So it's wonderful to be able to do this event now in partnership mm -hmm. together because Jack backs MAC and MAC backs Jack. I like how that works. And you can back both on Saturday. So again, Bananagrams, and tell people you would like them to register ahead of time, but anyone's invited to come on out, right? We've got some information to put up. Absolutely. Anybody is invited to join us on Saturday, November 12th at Arrowhead High School. Doors open at 9, but uh, the game starts at 9, but doors will open at 8. Okay. You can register online at ibackjack.org, or day of registration is certainly open, and everyone is welcome to come. And there's a whole little family festival there, right? It's not there just is. the game. Yeah, a whole fair. In addition to setting the world record, we have games, entertainment, fun for the kids, a kid zone. Uh, food and beverage. It's really um, a family fun event so we can involve philanthropy yeah. and having fun and spell out words and create miles of hope with every it's word we spell. Just a win-win-win all the way around and it a lot is. of fun. All it right, is. so ibackjack.org for more information. Thanks for being here this Thank morning, Thank you so Sarah. much. All right, Rob, over to, have you ever played this game? The I have program? seen it You've in the... Yeah, the kids have begged to buy it, and then I looked at how many little pieces there were and kind of said, no, but See, maybe now, I'll have to get out there. Oh, yeah, take them on Saturday. I love anagrams. Okay, cool. I got to try that one. Maybe it'll find its way under our Christmas tree. You never know. All right, let's take a look at what.